Okay, another program that deals with basic input and output but also uses the mod and div commands um, could be a program to calculate the number of fence panels needed for a garden. So this is one that's been looked at as a in terms of an algorithm. So thinking through the process, first we need to calculate the perimeter of the garden. What is the width of a fence panel? And exactly how many fence panels are needed? So that's the kind of process we need to go through. So let's have a think. The garden has two lengths and one width. The other width is the house. So if we think of the garden in terms of going down, across and up, and then the house is over here, then we've got two lengths and a width. So we need variables. We've got garden length as, now this could be a decimal place, it might be um, so many meters 0.5 or something like that. We could have the garden width and then therefore we would need the perimeter. So that gives us our initial variables. We've got them declared as single so that we can have decimal places. So as before, the main thing that we need to do is get the input from the user. So let's specify, please enter the length of the garden. Garden length equals console.readline. So we've got there our basic input lines of code. Let's do the same again for the width. Garden width equals console.readline. So we've got our input again. How do we work out the perimeter then? Well, perimeter would be two lots of the garden length added onto the garden width. And so if the garden is 10 meters long, and 4 meters wide, there'll be two lamps of the garden, so 20 meters plus 4, the perimeter will be 24 meters. Obviously the whole perimeter of the full garden would include the house, but we wouldn't want to build a house across the back of the, a, a fence across the back of the house. Okay, now we've got the perimeters, it'd be useful to find out what the width of the fence is. And so we'd need another variable for that. I'm going to call that FP, fence panel width. And then we're getting our input into that. So if we think in maths how we may do this, well we'll take the perimeter, we'll divide it by the um, fence panel width. So if the perimeter ended up being 21, and the fence panel width was 2, then we'll need 10.5 fence panels. But we could only buy whole fence panels, so therefore if there's any left over, really we need an additional full panel. What we're actually dealing with here is integer division, so rather than wanting the decimal place, we want to know exactly how many panels. So dim panels as an integer. And we could do this using the div command. So what is the perimeter? Div fence panel width. How many times exactly does that divide? So how many exact panels? And we could then output the number of panels 
needed are and panels. So if we run this now, uh, let's test see if this works. So let's put the length of the garden as 8.5, the width of the garden as 6, and the width of the fence panel as 2. So the number of panels needed are 11. So let's work this out. So we've got 8, we've got 16, we've got 17, plus 6 gives us 23. The panels are 2. If we get 11 panels, that will cover 22 metres of the garden. But what about the remaining metre? So this works out exactly how many whole panels we need, but obviously we need an additional panel. What we can do here then is if the perimeter mod fence panel width is greater than zero, so basically if there isn't a remainder, then panels equals panels plus one. Let's add one to the number of panels. So if we test this with the same calculation again, and we have 8.5, and we have a width of 6, the width of the fence panel is 2, that will now tell us the number of panels that we need to buy is 12. And so this program has got variable declarations, input, some processing, we have some form of selection in there and output. We've made use of the mod command, the div command, concatenation, assignment statements, all to calculate the number of fence panels needed.